I must say I'm absolutely deli delighted as the Registrar and the Chief Executive Officer of the Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies uh, to be here this afternoon uh, to chair this keynote Schrodinger Lecture. And in particular, I'm delighted that the annual Schrodinger Lecture this year is part of this fantastic program and conference. The Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies, or DIAS as we're known nationally for shorthand, was, I think you all know by now, the academic, academic home of Professor Schrodinger for his time here in Ireland, now on 17 years. And I must say it's very humbling to hear from his family in the person of Leonard Brosner, his grandson, how much Schrodinger loved his time at Dias and in Ireland, and he saw it very much as his home. My role this afternoon is just to say a few words about the special nature of the Schrodinger Lecture, which will be delivered shortly, and just to say a few words about the conference, about what is life from the perspective of the Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. As we've been hearing over the past two days, Professor Schrodinger was an excellent communicator, both in the written word and in addressing an audience. This turned out to be a very happy coincidence for the young Dias back in 1940, because in addition to being given a mission to conduct advanced fundamental research, Dias was given the function by government to deliver public lectures. And it was even specified by government that Dias would deliver a minimum of one public lecture a year, and that in alternate years, a lecture had to be given in Trinity College Dublin, and the following year in University College Dublin. And for those uh, of you from Ireland, you will be aware of some of the history, which thankfully is history at this stage, about those two institutions and their ethos and their history. So it was a very interesting fact that government actually set down in legislation that Dias would actually, if you like, share and actually be part of delivering public lectures in both those institutions. So outreach and communication of science, of which so much is spoken today, was at the heart of the mission of Dias from the off. And it was, of course, through these Dias public lectures, they became the channel through which Professor Schrodinger's now famous thoughts and contemplations on what is life emerged in 1943 in a lecture theatre at Trinity College Dublin. Some years later, following on from the major 50th anniversary conference marking the lecture, Dias and Trinity collaborated to bring into being the annual Schrodinger commemorative lecture. The inaugural lecture took place in 1995, and today thus marks the 24th lecture. There's some further information on the lectures in the back of your program, so I'm not going to say anything further on this. But I will take the opportunity now publicly on behalf of Dias to thank our colleagues at Trinity College Dublin for over the years hosting this lecture in the very same lecture hall where Schrodinger made his original What is Life lectures. And I also would like to thank the Austrian Embassy who over the years have supported the lectures in a myriad of different ways, and Ambassador Helmut Frondenschuss is indeed here with us this afternoon. But for a moment, I just would like to go back to the original What is Life lectures in 1943. And as I considered the lectures, and indeed all that we have heard about their impact over the last two days, it did cause me to reflect on two particular points. Firstly, I reflected on the fact that those lectures symbolized everything that Dias was established to do. Most of you won't know this, but the motto on the Dias seal is, in Latin, in immensum peregramus. For the non-classicist among you, this motto was derived from the famous Latin poem by Lucretius, De Rerum Natura or, in English, on the nature of things. And it's a heroic description of the Greek philosopher Ipicus, who transversed the immeasurable in the search of knowledge. 
And thus, immensum peregramus, let us tra traverse the immeasurable, became Dias' motto. Dias is about exploring the infinite and bringing knowledge and understanding for the benefit of humanity. And if, with the what of life, what is life lectures don't uh, symbolize that, I don't know what they do symbolize. Clearly, Schrodinger was about that exploring and trying to understand the big questions of our time. And this is very much the ethos of the Institute, which continues from then to the present day. And I don't have time to go through all the ways in which that has been manifested, whether it's through the plethora of formulae and equations named after our professors, or Raptura, Singh, Lanchos, among others, our research today on quantum computing. It's reflected in the fact that we had the first Irish experiment in space, that today we're involved in building a satellite to look at star formation and looking for exoplanets, the fact that we actually mapped the Atlantic continental shelf off the coast of Ireland, enabling Ireland to expand its national territory, the fact that we explored and looked at manuscripts, ancient Irish manuscripts, which had never been looked at before. In many ways, and many, many ways, Dias from its inception right to today has been all about discovery. And very much connected to this point and this fact is that Erwin Schrodinger, when he was at Dias, was given space and time to contemplate and to think about the big questions, to think about what is life. And we know that when he was at Dias, he published books not only on that topic, but also on topics as diverse as space-time structure, science and humanism. And we've heard other examples actually over the last few days. Those contemplations of his contributed to debates then and in, even as we've seen from the last speaker, to debates and considerations today. Letting researchers have time and space to contemplate and think about the big questions is as important today as it was then, even if we can't see an immediate impact. And Dias continues to endeavour to facilitate this. Schrodinger, of course, led the way and through his strong international links was seminal in bringing in intellectuals like Dirac, Eddington, Bourne, among others, to discuss the issues of the day. We continue to do that, and in this conference very much symbolizes another manifestation of that intellectual engagement. We also continue to attract international researchers, and in fact, you will hear from one of them in a little while, our current director of theoretical physics, Professor Werner Nam, FRS, and Max Planck medal holder. And so to our lecture this afternoon. I think it's so appropriate in view both of Professor Schrodinger's interests, the theme of the conference and the ethos of Dias, that today's special keynote Schrodinger lecture will be delivered by Professor Christoph Koch. He will talk about the future of consciousness. And I'm now very pleased to ask my colleague, Professor Manny Ramasani from uh, Trinity College Dublin, Professor of Neurogenetics and the Director of the Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience to formally introduce our afternoon keynote speaker. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 